Hi, today I'll show you a professional procedure when shooting a project. Do you know this is only my personal workflow that I've implemented in my team and it is not a must, so feel free to adjust to your needs. First thing is we'll transport all our equipment to the designated shooting location. Once arrived, we should quickly decide where we're gonna film. We're gonna put the rest area where people can drink some water or eat some snacks and also where to put the equipment. You want to try your best to not have those three areas crossing each other, so then you don't have to move a lot of stuff around when changing camera angles. Then we will proceed with an on-set announcement. This is the most boring part, but the most crucial part, because this will solve a lot of issues that usually are occurring on sets. And if you have announced a lot of the possible problems beforehand, people will be prepared, and then there will be no hiccups during the shoot and everything will be smooth. Usually the first assistant director will call out the on-set announcements. It will include, for example, where the toilets are, the trash can location, that phones should be all put on silent, where the coffee, snacks, and water bowls are, then some strict regulations, such as no alcohol consumptions, or no smoking inside, only outside. Choose a designated area for that, so that you can keep your set clean. Beside that, it's also good to announce your channel number of your walkie-talkies so you can communicate with each other very quickly. And this is also important, to let people know where the first aid medic box is. Yeah? Yeah. Danke, Mama. <laughs> also mention where the closest fire extinguisher is located so everyone can react quickly if someone gets injured. If you're shooting on a road, it's also good to let people know to be very aware of the traffic and be careful. Then, if there are still uncertainties, it's also good to let your crew members know exactly who is taking care of what, so everyone is on the same page and it won't get chaotic. Lastly, it's also good to thank everyone and now you can start shooting. At around 11 a.m., it's very good to double check with the producer to see how the food is standing. So then you know how much time you have left to shoot before everyone goes for the lunchtime. Food is always great to keep the team excited. Then in the afternoon, while continue shooting, it's always great if you have someone extra who could open up a laptop and acting as a mobile DIT and checking through a couple of shots that you've shot before. So you can see if there are any problems that you can quickly react or fix later during the day. When finished shooting, pack up all your stuff and really make sure that you clean up the entire location. Because I can tell you, if you clean up the location well, then the location owner will have such a good impression of you. So next time when you go shoot again, it's going to be super easy and maybe you even get a discount. That's basically it. And usually if you have the budget, definitely make a huge awesome dinner at the end to thank everyone and everyone will be so cool and happy to work with you again. So your next project is going to be even better. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. And feel free to also subscribe to see more of these awesome professional workflows that might help you in your next shoot.